At SEEDEF 2019, the logistics services of the Peruvian Armed Forces has developed a new version of the BM-21. The new version is now based on a 6x6 man truck chassis. The original rocket launch system is exactly the same as the original BM-21. It consists of 40 rocket launch sport of 120mm caliber. Cesar Cruz, editor, chief editor of uh, Peru Defensa Magazine, it's also the only Peruvian defense related magazine. Uh, we have uh, over 10 years in the market and uh, we try to provide to uh, the Peruvian the information they want to know about the defense and security situation. Peruvian uh, defense uh, changes their, its uh, priorities in order to provide not uh, only conventional defense but also uh, give, uh, give more emphasis, emphasis on the uh, disaster relief operations in the Tiburon system. Well, uh, Peruvian Navy enlistment uh, divisions has a uh, technology development uh, br uh, brand that is uh, uh, looking to uh, provide Peruvian Navy solutions for the requirements. One of the requirements was to uh, take advantage of the stock of uh, automatic missiles, uh, C2C missiles, uh, some of which were dismounted from the frigates in order to uh, uh, exchange them for exocet, uh, latest generation exocet, but the automatic missile is still valid. So they decided to use them uh, to, pro to create a, a naval coast defense battery with the automatic system. This uh, vehicle behind me is a prototype of the system called Tiburon, which is uh, shark in English. In English and uh, they have already performed one uh, fire and test, successful fire and test, uh, late last year. And they have uh, currently been developing uh, the complementary system, the command and control system, and the radar system related to this battery. So they expect to have this uh, operational in one, two years, maybe. The Peruvian Army is, uh, has recently created what they call the multi-purpose brigade, which is a unit that uh, get together some uh, infantry and special forces units, but uh, uh, with focus on the disaster relief operations. They uh, are now implementing their equipment for this second purpose of this unit. Uh, they have received help from the Chinese government that they have provided a, a large donation, which includes some ambulance, some uh, uh, mine uh, uh, seeking uh, equipment, some, uh, uh, there's a, a campaign hospital, and also one of this bridge system, uh, uh, 111, it's called 111, which is a, a system that uh, includes five vehicles, which uh, each one carry a uh, 15 meters uh, bridge uh, part, which can be deployed as a single or, uh, or all together in order to, to create a 75 meters bridge. Uh, the idea is to uh, provide uh, emergency communications, open communication in, in case of a, a, a disaster operation. The Peruvian Army uh, had uh, developed a project uh, in the uh, recent past years regarding improving its artillery systems. This uh, included a short, short and large range uh, rocket, uh, multiple rocket launchers. The uh, long range rocket launcher project is still pending for uh, uh, solution, but the short range uh, equipment was selected this uh, Type 90 uh, multiple rocket launcher from China. They, they received 28 launcher from China, but they still have the BM-21 so they have decided to work them uh, along the new Chinese equipment. Uh, they have uh, improved this uh, previous uh, existence system with uh, exchanging the current vehicle from uh, the Russian original vehicle, which is, uh, was already too old and uh, not operational, for uh, manned vehicles uh, that are uh, from a stock of Peruvian Navy, or manned vehicles, uh, uh, model 2280, model 2280, 
they have exchanged the vehicles and the, this uh, new version of the BM21 is already in service in Peruvian, service, in Peruvian Army. They have uh, made uh, test uh, launches and it's operational. They de developed this uh, version of PM21, uh, extracting um, the solution, the technical solution from the Type 90. They, they saw how the Chinese uh, modified this uh, Dongfeng truck uh, for, to carry the, the launcher. So they, they uh, apply the same solution to the man truck. They uh, received 32, uh, lab, uh, 32 lab 2 vehicles from uh, General Dynamics Land System and they, uh, among them there were four that were uh, ambulance version. So they just uh, received them uh, in that uh, configuration. Uh, Peruvian Army received from 2015 to 2017 24 MI 171SH helicopters. Uh, uh, these helicopters have performed very well in Peru. They are, uh, the armor forces are very pleased of their results. Uh, they were very useful for the fight in the Brahe uh, uh, coin operations uh, zone. And uh, requirements from the army, from the navy, from air force, and also police are still pending. Even though 24 helicopters for a small country is a large fleet. Uh, the, version that Peruvian Army got, the SHP, for people, per Peruvian, it's a version, it's a, an attack uh, uh, version of the MI-171, has the capability to carry a V-8 rocket launcher to, for 20 80mm rockets, uh, also gun pods uh, called UPK pods, which has two guns of uh, 23 millimeters. And uh, also on the doors, they have uh, like up to five uh, gun uh, machine guns. There is also the possibility to uh, equip them with a uh, D-Long uh, M1 for 34 uh, machine guns, which pass, pass, uh, uh, fire. And uh, also they can carry bombs if necessary to, to, to perform a bomb with. And, uh, as uh, as uh, as the original MI8 and uh, second generation MI, MI17, Peruvian Army has always got the armored version of the MI uh, uh, MI helicopters because the helicopters are always involved in coin operation in Peru. In Peru, the vehicle you see is our amphibious Lav 2 in service with the Peruvian Naval Infantry, who have done a, a spectacular job using this vehicle in humanitarian operations. There's been severe flooding in Peru in the last few years, and this has been the only asset in the armed forces that they've been able to access points of humanitarian need, uh, cross rivers, flooded areas, and, and deliver urgent relief to the civilian population. Peru has two of their vehicles converted into ambulances by means of a modular kit, which allows them to take two injured uh, troops or civilians on a stretcher or four ambulat ambulatory patients and also has all the medical supplies and, and necessary kit. Well, our message here, um, and I'll, I'll do, a, do it in Spanish after maybe, but on the 8x8 front, we are the, the leader now in South America. The last two 8x8 tenders, Columbia Army and Peru Navy, we've been fortunate to have uh, won their trust and the business of the customer and deliver a great product that the user will tell you they're, they're very happy with, and that is hard at work helping the civilian population. We obviously uh, are here to serve other potential customers and hope to continue to grow our vehicle fleet with current customers and and new customers in the region. And if I could end in, in Spanish, just to say that el orgullo que tiene la empresa eh, en este cliente, la, la Marina de Guerra Peruana, es enorme lo que han podido lograr ayudando a, a, a la gente peruano, peruana en desastres naturales. Realmente es un ejemplo para nosotros y, y uh, sentimos un enorme uh, 